how much work goes into not just supporting Battle Mage versus NVIDIA, but also supporting five NVIDIA architectures? Sorry, the, there is an argument to be had for game developers that even though, say, Intel has, you know, what is it, less than 1% market like share or something like that, it might be worth supporting because your game's going to get some publicity from benchmarks and Intel might advertise your game. And so, like, there's a bit of a, even if this feature makes no sense to add in, it still might be worth adding in just to check this box where you're going to get more support. At what market share do you have to support all AMD features? I know you don't have to, but... I think you would agree. You feel like you have to support all DLSS and NVIDIA features because of the market sheet. Ignoring that baseline incentive, it needs to push enough units where your customers coming in and saying, hey, I have a battle mage. I need this thing. Right. And typically with the whole 73% NVIDIA thing, that's pretty hard. If I could see it going to like 60% NVIDIA or 50% NVIDIA, that would definitely open the option up. To more aggressively support AMD features immediately. But if you need to pick like two vendors, it's just AMD and NVIDIA. And you just don't have to bother with the 0.01% unless you really care about your player base. 